Hello. Now we'll be diving into how rivers are replenished and the significant role they play in our global ecosystem. We begin with the journey of rainwater and melted snow, which enter river channels primarily through two paths, surface runoff and groundwater seepage. Now let's discuss river discharge, which measures the volume of water that flows through a river over time. This discharge fluctuates significantly after events like heavy rainstorms, primarily due to increased surface runoff, while the regular flow is largely maintained by groundwater contributions. It's fascinating to consider how the characteristics of the land, such as vegetation, topography and soil type, impact the balance between surface runoff and groundwater seepage into rivers. Each element plays a crucial role in shaping our river systems. As rivers flow towards the ocean, driven by gravity, they perform the essential task of eroding soil and dissolving minerals. This process not only shapes our landscapes, but also contributes dissolved minerals to the river, largely sourced from groundwater. Every river drains a specific geographic area known as a drainage basin or watershed. The Mississippi River, for example, covers about 40% of the US, including numerous smaller basins that all contribute to its massive flow. Beyond their natural beauty and biodiversity, rivers are critical for human use. They irrigate our crops and supply fresh drinking water to cities worldwide. However, they are also at the heart of international disputes over water rights and usage. Turning our attention to lakes, these bodies of water are integral to the freshwater supply and face similar challenges. They receive water from rivers and are subject to sediment fill, shrinking over geological timescales due to various natural processes. Lastly, let's touch upon glaciers, the largest freshwater reservoirs. Though not a direct water source for many due to their remote locations, glaciers feed rivers through melting, influencing sea levels and our global climate. As our planet warms, the implications of melting glaciers are something we must consider. 